10 incredible facts about Jupiter. Jupiter, the Roman equivalent of Zeus, is known as Dies Pater, or Shining Father in mythology. Jupiter is Saturn's son, Neptune's brother, and Juno's brother, who also happens to be his wife. Meanwhile, Jupiter, the celestial body, is the largest planet in the solar system. It may also be the most significant to us after Earth itself, because it altered our perceptions of Earth, the solar system, ourselves, and the universe we call home. 10 Jupiter could have been a star, if only. Galileo discovered Jupiter and its four primary moons, Europa, Io, Callisto, and Ganymede, in 1610, which are now known as the Galilean moons. This was the first time a celestial body other than the moon orbiting Earth was observed circling something else. This provided strong support for the theory of Polish astronomer Nikolai Copernicus that the Earth was not the center of the universe. Jupiter, the solar system's largest planet, has more than twice the mass of the rest of the solar system combined, not including the Sun. Jupiter has an atmosphere that is similar to that of a star, consisting primarily of hydrogen and helium, and planetary scientists believe that if Jupiter had grown to about 80 times its current size, it would have become a star. Jupiter is a miniature solar system in and of itself, with four massive moons and many smaller ones. Jupiter is so massive that it would take over 1,300 Earth-sized planets to equal its volume. 9. Jupiter's Great Red Spot Jupiter's magnificent bands are divided into light zones and dark belts due to constant pounding from strong east-to-west winds reaching 650 kilometers 400 miles per hour. White clouds in the upper atmosphere are made up of a frozen, crystallized form of ammonia. Darker clouds with other chemicals can be found in the darker belts, while blue clouds can be seen at the deepest visible levels. These climatic features are far from static and change dramatically over short time periods. Aside from the possibility of diamonds raining down from the atmosphere, the feature that stands out the most on Jupiter has to be the Great Red Spot, a 300-year-old superstorm. The Great Red Spot is three times the diameter of Earth when rotated counterclockwise. Winds in the center gust to 450 kilometers per hour, 225 miles per hour. The Great Red Spot fluctuates in size and appears to vanish at times, only to reappearance. 8. Jupiter's Magnificent Magnetic Field Jupiter, with a magnetic field nearly 20,000 times stronger than the Earth's, is by far the magnetic king of our solar system. Jupiter traps electrically charged particles using an intensified band of electrons, which continuously bombard the system with radiation levels 1,000 times higher than the lethal level for humans. This radiation is so powerful that it can harm even NASA's most heavily shielded spacecraft, such as the Galileo probe. Jupiter has a magnetosphere that extends 1 million to 3 million kilometers, 600,000 to 2 million miles, in the direction of the Sun, trailing off into a tail that extends 1 billion kilometers, 600 million miles, behind the gas giant as it orbits the Sun. 7. Jupiter is the Spin King Jupiter takes just under 10 hours to complete a full rotation on its axis, whereas Earth takes 24 hours. A day on Jupiter lasts 9 hours and 56 minutes at both poles and 9 hours and 50 minutes around the equator. Jupiter's extremely fast rotation causes it to bulge out at the equator and flatten at the top, causing the giant to be about 7% wider at the equator than at the poles. When one considers the great planet's sheer size, this rotation speed is exceptional, allowing it to reign supreme in yet another category, the shortest day in the planetary system. Jupiter, as a gaseous planet, does not rotate as a solid sphere like Earth. Instead, it rotates slightly faster at the equator than at the poles, at 50,000 kilometers, 30,000 miles per hour, 27 times faster than the Earth. 6. Jupiter is the solar system's biggest radio station. Jupiter also excels at producing powerful natural radio waves, which produce eerie noises when received by the antennas of shortwave radios on Earth. Though radio waves are inaudible to the human ear, when converted to audio signals by earthbound radio equipment, they can provide some strange entertainment. These radio emissions are caused by instabilities in plasma in the gas giant's magnetosphere. They caused quite a stir until they were proven to be of natural origin rather than the result of an alien species. 
Most astrophysicists believe that ionized gases above Jupiter and its magnetic poles act as a very powerful radio laser on occasion, producing radiation so intense that the gas giant frequently outshines even the sun as a radio energy source of shortwave radio wavelengths. Scientists believe that the power behind this phenomenon is linked to the volcanic moon Io. 5. The Jupiter Rings in 1979, NASA was pleasantly surprised when the Voyager 1 spacecraft discovered three rings around Jupiter's equator. These rings are much fainter than Saturn's rings and thus cannot be detected using Earth-based scientific instruments. The main ring is approximately 30 kilometers, 20 miles, thick, 6,000 kilometers, 4,000 miles, wide, and flat. The inner ring is 20,000 kilometers, 12,000 miles, thick and cloud-like. This inner ring's halo extends about half the way down to the tops of the uppermost cloud layer and grows by interacting with Jupiter's powerful magnetic field. The main ring and halo are both made up of small, dark particles. The third ring, also known as the Gossamer Ring, is actually three rings made up of microscopic debris from three Jupiter moons, Adrastia, Thebe, and Amalthea. It reaches out to an outer edge some 130,000 kilometers, 80,000 miles, away from the center of the planet, and inward around 30,000 kilometers. It is most likely made of dust particles less than 10 microns in diameter, the same size as smoke particles 20,000 miles. Planetary scientists believe that Saturn's and Jupiter's rings are the result of impacts from celestial objects such as asteroids and comets. For the Planetary Defender, because Jupiter is the largest body in the solar system other than the Sun, the gravitational forces it generates may have aided in literally shaping the rest of the solar system and possibly allowing life to exist as it does today. According to a study published in Nature, Jupiter may have swung both Uranus and Neptune out to where they are now in a violent display of planetary might. According to a Science Magazine article, Jupiter, along with Saturn, may have hurled a massive amount of debris into the inner planets during the early history of the solar system. In fact, scientists are now fairly certain that the gas giant is preventing some asteroids from impacting the planet, and recent events such as the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 impact have demonstrated that it can and does limit potentially catastrophic impacts on Earth. According to current data, Jupiter's gravitational field has a strong influence on many asteroids that have gathered in the areas directly before and after the giant planet during its trip around the Sun. These asteroids are dubbed Trojan asteroids after three of the largest ones that live there, Hector, Achilles, and Agamemnon, names from Homer's The Iliad, which is about the Trojan War. Three Jupiter and the small planet Earth both have the same size core. Scientists believe Jupiter has an inner core 10 times the size of Earth, with the aforementioned layer of liquid metallic hydrogen accounting for 80 to 90 percent of the planet's diameter. Because the diameter of Earth is just under 13,000 kilometers, 8,000 miles, Jupiter's core should be just under 1,300 kilometers, 800 miles, across. This makes it the same size as the Earth's core, which is estimated to be 1,200 kilometers, 750 miles, in diameter. Jupiter is more than five times farther away from the Sun than Earth, according to NASA. To Jupiter's atmosphere, a chemist's dream or nightmare. Jupiter's atmosphere is a chemical smorgasbord consisting of 89.2% molecular hydrogen and 10.2% helium. The remaining atmosphere contains trace amounts of ammonia, hydrogen deuteride, methane, ethane, water, ammonia ice aerosols, water ice aerosols, and ammonia hydrosulfide aerosols, a chemical nightmare for human life. The enormous gas giant has a dense inner core of currently unknown composition, which is completely surrounded by a thick layer of helium-enriched, fluid metallic hydrogen, all rolled up into an atmosphere primarily composed of molecular hydrogen, truly a gassy giant. One Pluto's moon Callisto is the solar system's most cratered body. Callisto, the most heavily cratered object in the solar system, is yet another point of pride for Jupiter. Callisto is the farthest of the four Galilean moons, orbiting its giant host planet in about one Earth week. Callisto experiences less tidal influences than the other Galilean moons because it orbits beyond Jupiter's radiation belt. Because it is tidally locked, like our moon, the same side of Callisto is always facing Jupiter. Callisto has a diameter of 5,000 kilometers, 3,000 miles, which is about the same as the planet Mercury. Callisto is the third largest moon in the solar system, 
after Ganymede and Titan, with our moon being the fifth largest, following Io as the fourth. Callisto's average surface temperature is minus 139 degrees Celsius, minus 218 degrees Fahrenheit. Callisto, one of the four Galilean moons, was discovered by the great astronomer Galilei Galileo and almost killed him. The discovery influenced his belief in heliocentrism, which landed him in hot water with the Catholic Church. That's for now. We appreciate you for being here. View more our channel videos.